you do a quick show and tell of uh, what could happen to you just by you simply walking is my assistant chief of staff, Mr. Jeffrey Brooks. He was walking, doing a quick patrol of the area last night, and he's not as old as he looks. <laughs> he uh, stumbled upon something, took a tumble, cut his leg go back, cut his toes, and he was just walking, not even running. So with you all out there today, safety is the number one issue because most of you out there are not trained military combat personnel. Some of you are, some of you have been there, done that, I understand. And uh, for those of you who have been there, done that, you're going to appreciate the danger of this element. There are bottom wires out there, razor sharp wires out there, those are left by combat units. This is how they train because when they go overseas, there's no sterile mount site out there. Oh, oh, oh. So let's be safe. That's the number one priority. Um, you know, I want to thank so many people who traveled so far. It was amazing yesterday at the campground. A gentleman came up to me, introduced himself, and he came from Hong Kong. Here. We'll see. Uh, are you, are you up here? You, you playing with the Marines? Yeah, he's over there. I give him a big hand. Dedicate him. <laughs> yeah. started with only 80 people on a paintball field in Bakersfield. It started with uh, Bravo Company, Sergeant Ken Miller. Let's give Sergeant Miller a big hand. All right. And Alpha Company, Colonel Danny McKnight. Colonel, big hand. It, it was amazing. I mean, it was, gosh, you know, after 9-11, I lost all my business. Walter and uh, Walter Bearsop GI and James Chang of formerly uh, Air Sub Lee and I were having lunch. We were talking about, my God, I haven't, uh, I haven't gotten a single penny of income for a year. My whole tourism industry collapsed. What should I do? And they said, well, since you got nothing else better to do, maybe you can ask Earl McKnight and all the other military heroes you know to play Airsoft. This was 10 years ago. It's an airsoft like an Asian thing from Hong Kong and Japan. I'm not going to ask them in Europe to do some Kung Fu line claw fighting. Uh, so that's where line claw's name came from. <laughs> it was over lunch, over a tear in the joke. They said, you know what, we dare you because right now you got nothing going on. Maybe uh, you could create something useful. Lo and behold, this is the 10th anniversary. It's absolutely amazing. But you know, I want to uh let you know that none of this could be possible without the help of some very dedicated staffer and uh, these are friends, colleagues, and uh, awesome people. Um, where's our chief of staff? Let's get Tyler 
a big hand. And then Phil Cohen, assistant chief of staff, Jeff Brooks, <laughs> keeping the game running by shift. Assistant Chief of Staff of the Jumping Heart. Bill, where are you? Where are you, Bill? Bill Smith. And our game designer, really game designer. There's so many big games on uh, his fair and tragic game. There's plots. Where are you guys? Identify yourself. Are you guys out here? One hand step forward. 